This was the walk Canadian Jeremy Hansen and three other astronauts were supposed to take later this year on their way to circle the moon. But in Houston, NASA has a problem. We are facing challenges, both uh, technical uh, and just dealing with going back to the moon. Artemis is the name of the missions to the moon, and the upcoming launch has been pushed back from November of this year until September 2025. I was a bit surprised how much later it was going to be, about a 10-month uh, uh, pushback. When there is liftoff, it will almost certainly make history. The 10-day mission around the moon will potentially go farther into space than any human has ever traveled. But NASA is facing multiple issues to make that happen life support hardware and electrical systems that allow the crew to pull away from the capsule in case of emergency both failed in testing. That's on top of battery issues in the Orion spacecraft, which the crew will fly around the moon in. The NASA people kept saying safety, safety, safety is because these really are all safety things. And yeah, NASA has it in their mandate to do really cool science and space things and not kill anybody in the process. I think I'm definitely disappointed. That cool science aided by Canadian geologist Gordon Ozinski, who's been training the crew on what they could find on the far side of the moon, a place humans have never gone. We're going to a part of the moon that we don't see from the Earth. And so it's kind of tucked around on the lower part of the moon, the South Polar region. The man dubbed Dr. Crater is hoping moon rocks and water can be brought back for further analysis. And I'll be participating in Artemis 3 when those first humans step back on the surface of the moon is really exciting. And if I have to wait another year for that, then, you know, so be it. If the Artemis 3 mission to land on the moon is successful in late 2026, it will be the first time since 1972, Donna, that humans have been on the moon. I remember that, of course. Mackenzie Gray in Ottawa. Thanks.